<laughs> you know what? I've been thinking about you since I saw that trailer the other night. And then I read this quote, and you said, I feel upset that I'm attached to this. I was told that it was a positive piece with a little more of my personal background. It wasn't pitched to me as a story rehashing sensational events that took place. What's gone on here? I can't quite answer that. I wish I knew the answer. However, I am uh, here just because, you know, obviously the, the, this uh, uh, documentary is... is going to air. It's on, um, it's been aired. It's going to keep airing. And I just want to explain to my fans, because, you know, um, that's just never been my thing in my, in my life, in my career, uh, especially after Big. Like, the, there's so many stories and so many events that happen, and a lot of it has already been talked about. So I've never felt the need to have to explain things or clarify things to the public. I've, I lived it, you know? Um, I was... I was pitched this project as something different that hasn't been seen before from my perspective about how I grew up and how I ended up falling in love with Big. And at some point, obviously, it took a different turn. There have been... So this show that was supposed to be about your love story, then you have this Netflix thing, and then you had something else Fox did on the unsolved part of this. I do a crime show. It is... Mm -hmm. I try to tell people, don't look at it as unsolved, because this is someone who didn't go home to their family. He didn't go home to your newborn son and you and whatever future he had. Do you know who killed him? Do you believe you know what happened? We believe we know who killed Big, and we believe that the LAPD knows as well. How does that sit with you all these years later, knowing, again, that there are projects and TV shows that keep saying it's unsolved when no one's been charged, but it's not, according to experts and prosecutors, <clears throat> it's really not unsolved. Well, in the sense of justice being brought, it is unsolved. Yeah. And I don't think, I mean, you know, people think that our lawsuit against LAPD is, was, was, went away. It's just that why spend money to try and get them to admit that they know what's going on? So it's more like when things have moved in our favor, but um, you know, it's certainly unfortunate that no one has been brought to justice, that, you know... And we do believe that they know what happened. It's been so long. However, I think, you know, in all these years, it's just, you know, it's just to a point where we've had to just accept what it is, mm -hmm. as unfortunate as even the case itself is. We've just kind of had to accept and know that whatever happens, you know, it's just what... It's just what it is. We don't want to put out any more money, any more energy on that part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hopefully that person, you know, if what we hear is correct, we, he we heard that person is no longer living. Mm -hmm. However, you know, if not, I hope that person is understanding the, the gravity of what they did. So I remember turning on the phone one day, broke the internet, Faith Evans has gotten married. I'm like, oh, Faith, then Faith Evans married Stevie J. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hold the phone. Stevie J. Now hold the phone. <laughs> one of the alleged bad boys of hip hop steals your heart. How? Oh, um, well, I think he had my heart in a non-romantic way already. We were, we were great friends for, like, over 20 yeah. years yeah. already. Yeah. So, and that's a real, like, friendship, yeah. not no side right. stuff, for real. And you'd even worked together in 2008. We worked together back in the day. There's, back like, when we, when we married, Stevie started telling me songs that he produced for me that I don't, don't even remember Stevie being is in here. the studio with. Stevie J <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> What is it about her that, that made you want to take on the right side of love, Stevie? <laughs> I mean, there's so many elements to that question, but um, I'd say she's a beautiful person who um, has yet in my eyes experienced the love she deserves. So, you know, after spending more time around her as a friend and then in 2016, we started dating, and, but I wasn't ready, and she turned about face that quick. So, <laughs> so um, when I realized that I, w I didn't want to lose my friend nor the love of my life, yeah. you know, I just had to make the drastic changes to get her to Atlanta first, and then I'd say, come to Vegas with me for this meeting, and then I'll, when we got there, I asked her to marry me. Aww.